Welcome everyone to another episode of The Train Studio. I'm your host, Sean Morris. Tonight on The Train Studio Update, uh, again, working on the foie table. Um, basically tonight I was just working on uh, laying out some more groundwork um, uh, that's going to go underneath the snow. So I've just put in these rises here, um, just along the roadways and a few other spots. You can see it's kind of shiny. That's because I just laid the flex paste over that. So basically I'm just uh, cutting the foam gluing the foam down and then putting the flex paste over top. It, it does two things, uh, actually three things. One, it colors it white. Uh, two, it creates a hardened shell so that the foam's not soft. And three, it allows me to uh, do some smooth transitions even off the foam, so um, it allows me to blend it into the, uh, to the area below and kind of gives me a surface to lay the snow on later. So I just laid down uh, mainly in this area here and here so I'm just I'm trying to let I'm trying to create some uh, variation in the flats I do want to create some flat sections but uh, at the same time I want to have some um, some slight rises to block some line of sight and create some you know different uh, surfaces to glue the the uh, shrubbery and things like that on just so just to create some variation so it's not a flat board that's one of the challenges that I have because I work on a flat surface uh, and I don't typically uh, add a lot of hills to my work um, this is one way for me to uh, create some variation and um, put in some features that uh, otherwise um, uh, would be basically a blank area. So, and that's not something I'm really looking for. At the same time, I like to keep the height down for shipping uh, reasons, and um, just hills are, are really not my thing. Um, I find that uh, they tend to be um, sometimes too hindering, and uh, hills on. Um, a Flames of War table really need to have a defined edge, much like forest, and sometimes that's a little hard to create in um, terms of the boards that I do, so I tend to stay away from them as much as possible, but um, certainly they have their place in the game just on this particular table, it didn't call for it, So, um, but I do like the uh, slight uh, raises, and I think that's going to add a lot of dimension to the table. Uh, over here, um, as you can see, it's getting a little busier uh, every day, um, and that tile that's missing is obviously the uh, the pond. Um, but over here, and the bridge doesn't go there, of course. Uh, tonight I was just um, doing some slight colorations to the uh, crater, so I had a little ink in there, so you can see it kind of, um, that area that's splashed over will of course be touched up and, and covered, but uh, just adding a little bit of depth and dimension to that um, in terms of giving it uh, some variation in the color, um, just toning it down a little bit. Uh, from the road color and giving it more of a kind of an upturned fresh look in the mud and of course that'll be blended in with the snow itself and over here I uh, did a little more um, uh, adding of a variation here and then over in the corner kind of right there I added another one in so I think this area here is more or less covered with what I want to put under the snow and I just got to do a little bit of build up around the roads and such so I think um, you guys can see here, have some build up around the roadway here and then none over here. So that's just gonna be tight. Um, I gotta come in here and add the uh, flex paste there, but um, that's something I can do after. It's not uh, that big of a job. And likewise around the road sections, you can see that I've added it around the edge there. And then I have to come in here and do this road edge here. So. Um, that'll be done uh, probably tomorrow night. I'm going to work on the pond section a little bit uh, this evening. And then over here, if you guys uh, saw the last video, this is basically cleared up now as much as it's going to clear. Uh, cleared a little bit more, but again, it, it retained that sort of icy look. I'll bring this under the light. I think it would be a better shot of it here. So yeah, you can see that it, we have that ice uh, still formed. Um, down there as well and then here so I'm going to come in now with the uh, the flex paste for tonight I'm going to uh, work in around these uh, rocked areas um, bring a little flex paste down on some of the banks and then uh, when I go to the snow portion I'll blend it onto the uh, under the ice wherever I see fit so that'll be uh, this evening's work and then maybe you guys can check that in the next video so um, that's the update for tonight it's basically laying down more work that's going to be covered over later so a lot of work for um, a little uh, reward in terms of visuals, but um, it's uh, all going to pay off in the end. And when you guys see the uh, the snow, I think that'll really help uh, 
uh, define what I'm doing uh, right now. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the comments, and you guys can certainly keep them coming, and uh, I'll do my best to uh, keep the videos coming. So thanks, uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Cheers.